Hi Virgo, welcome to your general reading for the first half of September. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information that you need about me, reading, social media links, decks I'm using. There's tons of information down there, so please do go check that out. It would be greatly appreciated. And before we get started, just a quick shout out to my new subscribers, those I've reached out for personal readings, and those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or donation to the channel is very much appreciated. So thank you, thank you. All your support really means a lot to me, and I couldn't do it without you guys, and I truly love to give you guys these readings. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And any support you would like to show the channel, whether it's just liking, subscribing, is greatly greatly appreciated and it really does help the channel so thank you thank you so much okay Virgo 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 first half of September your birthday is coming up pretty soon actually we are in your birthday right yes we are happy birthday I'm thinking my sister who is a Libra and her birthday is the end of September as she was with a Virgo for 30 something years until he passed so for some reason I was thinking the end of September I don't know why but yep happy birthday Virgo happy birthday beginning of September okay so this is a general reading um, if you can fit it into any kind of situation you're more than welcome to do that but I will read it as a general reading Okay, so this is Zodiac Oracle. We'll see what we get. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, that's totally fine. All right, for Virgo Spirit, thank you. What do we have? Mercury, and this is Gemini energy, but it doesn't have to be. So some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. If not, Mercury is the energy of the mind. It's uh, communications, it's thoughts, ideas education um truth and clarity so uh we'll see how that plays into your reading virgo and mercury you see the number there on mercury is 15 which reduces one and five is six which is about healing and balance so i don't know we'll see and you virgo are number six so that six six double number of balancing healing number so we'll see how that plays into your reading all right so let's get an overall message for you virgo it's too many first half of september what is your energy like what's going on with virgo spirit please the first wow <laughs> half of september just one card for Virgo, please. There you go. Usually when I ask for one, I get one. So thank you, Spirit. Our Lady of Love and Compassion. Rev reverence, kindness, consideration. So, and that to me is a very healing, balancing number. So you're feeling very healing, healed or healing, balanced, uh, very kind, consider considerate energy here. Um, just in very high energy, high compassionate energy, love and generosity and compassion. Wow. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. And that's number one, which is about new beginnings. So you could be in some sort of new beginning now that's very healing and balanced for you. And it's putting you in a much more positive energy. Wow. All right. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck the map maker of destiny authentic purpose inspiration free will wow 24 6 again that's triple six of healing and balance so i feel like here you manifested your own destiny you have some sort of new beginning here that you manifested and you're living out your authentic purpose your purpose in life you're being authentic and true to yourself you're very inspiring um, you had the inspiration to do it, to follow your soul purpose and desire, and you did it with your own free will. Wow. So and underneath that, we have Swan Queen, Transformation, Intuition, Patience. 
13, which is four, which is about stability and it's about your foundation and your basis. So uh, whatever you did here, you followed your intuition, your gut feeling, you followed your path, what you felt like was meant for you. You had patience with yourself and you transformed yourself. Wow. So really here, uh, new beginning I feel for you. And uh, let's see if I can keep those in the, there we go. I really think you manifested this new beginning here for yourself. And you're in a much higher vibration, a much more positive mindset and energy. Wow. Virgo, good for you. All right. Virgo. All right. Let's see what's going on with Virgo. And why are you in this energy, Virgo? And with Mercury, you know, with the Gemini energy, or it's just the Mercury energy of clear cut communication, uh, truth and clarity, um, education, ideas, inspiration. It's everything to do with the mind and communication. So and having truth and clarity in your situation, like you saw the truth and clarity and uh, knew exactly what you needed to do here. So I have these three cards here that wanted to fall out. So the King of Pentacles here is your energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So again, I feel like very much in your own power here. Sure, stable and grounded. You could own your, you could be an entrepreneur. You could own your own business now, or you could be the boss, the president of a company now, the CEO, high ranking authority in your career now, uh, being very stable and grounded energy here. That's your energy. And now we have the world, which is earth energy again. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, mainly Capricorn, but it is earth. The world is the earth, is earth energy. So again, closing out cycles and having a brand new cycle here. And I definitely feel that with one, which is a brand new beginning. So whole new world for you here. But you do have the devil here, which is Capricorn. So I feel like you closed out a very toxic situation. Could have been career orientated or something here that was toxic that you closed the cycle on here. You know now know your value and your worth and you close you just closed out that cycle, that chapter on that toxicity and you manifested with your own map maker of destiny here a brand new world, a brand new beginning. And now you've gone past, you've left this toxic energy behind you, and now you're in a much more higher vibration, a very kind, loving, compassionate, generous and giving kind of energy with those around you. Even your coworkers, I'm feeling. Wow. So let's see what your actual situation is now, Virgo. And I wanted three and I got three. Okay, so. Wow, we have Strength here, which is Leo. We have the Two of Swords, which is Air Energy. Again, here's the Air Energy. Um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And now we have the King of Wands, which is Fire Energy, Leo, Sag, Aries, but it doesn't have to be. So I feel like here now, Strength, you're feeling very strong and determined. Um, you know, you're courageous and brave moving forward. You had that, you know, that ambition and that desire and that strength and courage and that passion, and that fiery energy to move forward into this new cycle and leave the crap behind that wasn't serving you. You have the two of swords. So this can be um, needing to make decisions or indecisiveness. But I definitely feel like here with the two of swords, you knew you had to make a decision maybe there was a period where you didn't want to make this decision uh, and that's with that mercury energy um, of being in your mind and not sure what you need to do but I think you mustered up all, all your inner strength here and you consciously made the right decision to leave this toxic energy behind start a whole new world and a whole new chapter for yourself and now standing in your king of Pentacles energy of being very stable and secure and grounded. 
because now you have the king of wands so i mean this could be you could have fire in your chart or this could be somebody else around you so maybe you you know have a friend or a business partner or a mentor or just an associate or somebody you look up to or somebody that helps you uh, the king of wands is somebody who is very fiery who is an entrepreneur who um goes after what they want with a lot of drive ambition and passion and energy and they're usually a very go-getter energy they're very successful and accomplished um so it could be somebody here that helped you in your journey as you made this decision and they helped you find your strengths within you to live out your new uh purpose in life as we had over here, as we had with um, authentic purpose. So maybe they helped you, they guided you and led you in the right direction. It gave you the strength, balance, peace, harmony, advice, guidance that you needed to make the right decision that was best for you. All right, so let's see. Um, I don't know, let's see if we have any advice for you. Virgo going forward so we have the chariot and we have the eight of swords so chariot is cancer energy doesn't have to be eight of swords here's that air energy again so the chariot is a very balanced energy and it's moving forward victoriously it's a major arcana so this is taking positive movement forward fast achievement fast um go getter drive and energy going after what you want being very balanced and successful and just going after it so that's your advice but then you have mental blockage so i feel like here this is the eight of swords air energy of being trapped in your mind mental blockages mental entrapment but um i feel like here you can overcome that because the major overcomes the minor so I feel like whatever blockages you have here, and maybe you have this person that you can always turn to to help you anytime you come to a blockage to help guide you and balance out your energy and steer you in the right direction, to steer this chariot in the right direction. So I feel like, you know, any mental blockages here can be overcome with the cancer chariot energy and you can keep moving forward in the right direction. All right, so let's see what your... Uh, outcome could be now the five of wands so this is fire energy so this is conflict um, competition so you know could be conflict with those around you maybe they don't like what you're doing or this could be competition you know whatever you're doing now maybe there's a lot of competition around you in some way shape or form and you know that's something you have to contend with there's just no way of getting around it but the chariot is here to say that you will be successful to keep moving forward don't let these blockages that these competitors um keep you mentally entrapped because you will be successful with the chariot energy and to keep moving forward all right so let's get some clarifiers now so the four of pentacles so that's holding on your energy virgo taurus capricorn holding on to your stability your foundation your basis holding on to what you have um you also could be holding back or being a little stingy for some reason maybe you're just afraid moving forward that you don't want to lose what you have so you're holding on tightly to your finances and your material things um fear of losing them again with this mental entrapment the two of cups so this again i felt here with you know this is two people coming together in unity and peace and harmony seeing eye to eye uh two people that think alike here so this could be this friend mentor business advisor it could be anybody uh helping you guiding you mentoring you and steering you in the right direction i'm getting with the cancer chariot energy as somebody you are really aligned with you think alike um and you just see eye to eye with this person. And then we have the Princess of Swords. 
So I do believe this is the Page of Swords. So air energy again. So this could, you, you know, you doing all the research that you need to do in whatever you're doing here, um, knowing all the facts, knowing all the ins and outs, um, going online and doing all your research, maybe keeping tabs on your competitors here, online or whatever here. Uh, the swords are all about um, communication, truth, clarity, and things of that nature. Counting away things no longer serving you, standing up for yourself, telling it like it is. Eight of Cups. So again, I feel like here, water energy, and this is energy, I think totally over here, you've walked away from something in the past that was no longer serving you. And now you're going in a much better direction and walking towards something in that chariot energy of something more fulfilling for you. Because you do have this very empress-like energy here. Now that's coming to me with this high lady of love and compassion. So feeling very empress-like. Six of Wands, so there you go, fire energy. There's your success, your victory, receiving the accolades that you deserve, the accomplishment you deserve, being very victorious over your competitors. And now the Seven of Wands. So, you know, you keep fighting on, persevering on, you know, defending yourself, def defending what you believe in, not giving up, being a little on guard maybe and defensive because you go from the Six and the Seven. So, Nine of Cups, Water Energy, Wish Fulfillment, Joy, Happiness, Dreams Coming True for you moving forward. Seven of Cups, so, um, you know, confusion maybe at times, that's maybe why you had this mentor, this person that was helping you, guiding you, whoever it was for you um, that you looked up to that really helped you in your journey here whenever you felt confused um, or had too many options you didn't know which way to go which way to steer your chariot I feel like you always had this backup person that you could always always turn to to help you guide you in the right direction all right so all right look at that underneath the bottom of the deck is now the Sun Leo energy happiness joy success victory Growth, expansion, enlightenment, happy home and family. Everything, everything, super, super positive. Most positive card in the deck here with the sun energy. So there you go. Ace of Pentacles, so there's your brand new beginning of growth and abundance. Of your firm, solid foundation and building forward for a bright future. Of stability, growth, expansion, prosperity and wealth. And that's your energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, King of Cups. So water energy now. So again, you know, feeling again, I feel like with here, high lady of, of uh, love and compassion can be male or female. Just feeling very uh, loving, nurturing, caring, giving, compassionate with yourself, others around you, your co-workers, being in a much better place now. Judgment, making that final judgment call, Scorpio energy, making that judgment call here of releasing the past and moving forward in a direction, making that final decision, forgiving the crap of the past maybe, but still moving on and making that judgment call. Yep, three of pentacles, your energy working together, teamwork, collaboration with others. And the fool here taking a leap of faith and a brand new start, resetting at zero, starting over, starting fresh, clean slate, and jumping right in your new beginning. Working with well with others, deciding to leave the past behind, starting new, starting fresh, being in a much more happy, joyous, loving, compassionate place as we had over there. There's your brand new beginning of growth, abundance, prosperity, firm, solid foundation. Happiness, joy, success, and victory twice because you also had the Six of Wands. Wow. Virgo. So success, success is yours. Success is yours. Moving forward. All right. So mapping out your own destiny. You manifested this on your own. Quest with some help, I feel. Um... 
what was this one over here? Transformation, intuition, patience, right? Having, following your intuition, knowing the best thing to do was to leave that toxic situation and transforming yourself into this person that, of higher value, of new beginning, prosperity, wealth, and abundance. And having patience with yourself as you move forward in your situation. All right. So let's get some. It's way too many. Let's see this one. So any other messages? For Virgo. All right. We'll take these. Okay. So we have dragon. This is fire energy. This is number thirty-seven, I believe. So this is slaying your dragon. Dragons slaying that beast, slaying that toxic energy, and leaving it behind. Yep. Slaying and killing your dragons and leaving all that toxic bullshit behind that you didn't need in your life. Yep. That fire, passionate energy. So now we have two air cards here. We have Bluebird and we have just air energy, which is the Mercury energy of air, of truth, clarity, um, clear, honest communication, cutting away things no longer serving you, standing up for yourself, what you believe in, not taking any BS. And we have Bluebird here, ear, which is number 33. And I'm not sure what the Bluebird stands for, so let's see. Uh, okay, here it is. Optimism and hope, happiness and idealism. Exactly. Um, let's see. Uh... Well, it invites you to view life through rose-colored glasses. One of the most positive importance to be found in European folklore. Um, it's just hope, hope, optimism, happiness. So again, now, you know, having that faith, hope, and optimism, and patience with yourself as you are moving forward. And now having that peace and harmony here and that freedom maybe to do birds represent freedom representing having the freedom now to live your life the way you want to all right so let's see let's see what's on the bottom of the deck now so we have the phoenix so again rising from the ashes rising like a phoenix here fire energy again and then we have ram which always reminds me of the Aries card. So this is about taking control, taking the lead, taking control, rising from the ashes, overcoming this toxic energy, taking control, earth energy here, taking control, taking the lead, um, and just doing what was best for you. I believe that's what the ram is. So let's see. Number five. Moving forward. Yep. Moving forward, birth, fearlessness. So again, moving forward fearlessly, taking control, taking charge, and being victorious, successful, and leaving that toxic crap behind, map maker of your own destiny here. Wow. Good for you, Virgo. I hope this resonated for you, Virgo. If it didn't, you can check the description box below for past readings. Um, I would say disregard the dates on them. I do consider them all timeless. So if you see a title that you resonate with, I would say watch it anyway. Maybe a message in there for you, Virgo. So wishing you much luck here in your situation. Best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And if you do like my style, you like how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. Hit the bell to be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly general in love, so don't miss out on that. When you hit the bell, I think if you hit the first option, you'll get all notifications. And I ask that if you don't like to get notifications from all the other signs that I do that you don't unsubscribe, you can just uncheck the bell at any time. You'll no longer receive notifications. But if you go into your subscriptions tab, you'll see my, my videos there and you can scroll through and find the one that you want to watch. Okay, Virgo. Um, Sending you many light, love, and blessings, as I always say with my channel, as with the sun energy here, is to always, always shine your light.